sun's coming up here in Africa. We've been up for a couple hours. We're heading out onto the plains to catch some of the action of the migration. Hopefully we'll get lucky for some cheetah kills, lions, whatever else that might be hunting this morning. See what happens. He decides to follow a mother cheetah. With three extra mouths to feed, she's sure to be hunting every day. That looks pretty clean. So, we're filming the fastest land animal in the world, the cheetah, with the super high speed, super high definition video camera. Captures 1,500 frames per second. It's essentially super, super slow motion. And with cheetahs, you need every bit of frame rate possible. And they're moving towards the herd. Perfect. Let's go get them. Okay, that's good. Down. She's got to eat sometime. You know, I've just realized that um, I don't think I have changed or washed the trousers that I'm wearing right now for the past 17 days. Casa Grande's patience is wearing thin. You know, you grow quite attached to these animals while you're filming them. Sometimes you give them names, sometimes you give them swear words for names. Hey, Mr. ABC, good morning. Good morning. I feel good. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Let's do it. We're yeah. heading out of the plains for some action. It's been slow. But today is the day. We're gonna get the kill. It's gonna be today. It better be. Today may be the day we get <laughs> lucky. So we've got a situation here. The three cubs are underneath our car and the cheetah's hunting in front of our car. We have no angle on the shot. We could go to the roof, but it's way too windy and the camera's all over the place. We can't move the car to get in position and the cheetah's about to hunt. Isn't that f***ed up? So the mother's coming back now to retrieve our cubs from underneath our vehicle. The next day, Casa Grande finds the cheetah mother stalking near a zebra herd. Maybe she's going to go for one of those little zebra. Here we go again. But instead of the mother on the prowl, it's the cubs that are practicing their skills. Mock hunting huge zebras. Seems like innocent fun. But in an instant, the tables are turned.
You won't believe this. We just filmed a, one of the one of the three cubs get get stamped by a zebra. During a hunt, the mother one of the cubs just got stamped by a zebra. It's dead. She's alive. She's alive. The, the cub? Yeah, she's alive. Where is she? She's there. I can Where? see her. She's there. Turn around. Turn she's the door. Turn the car. Holy <laughs> She's, she's alive. This, the cub is alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was horrible. She's there. When Casa Grande reviews the ultra slow motion shot, he sees what his naked eye had missed. After reviewing the phantom footage, it was quite evident that the cub escaped. I can't believe that cub's alive. I can't believe that cub's alive. The great migration of wildebeest and zebra tracks north to Kenya. 400 kilometers, and five months later, they arrive at this legendary river. Cameramen John Benham and Bob Poole are waiting. Holy moly. Oh man, look at that. Everything is in place for perhaps the most iconic migration spectacle on Earth. That cross. It was absolute chaos. Just massive hooves, just going, 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 running, 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 crossing. As soon as they saw that calf, man, they beeline right in there. the bloodshed, the just overall carnage was something to behold. It was just kill after kill after kill. Mothers try to shield their young. But not all succeed. John Benham trains his lens on a scene he will remember forever. We heard this calling from a calf, kind of over, over through the bushes. And this massive, you know, 12 foot crotch just attached to its backside. He kept pulling the croc literally out of the water with him. He was so strong, he was like pulling himself up on the bank. It was extremely emotional. Everyone who was watching, including myself, were moved to tears. The death of any calf is heart-wrenching. The end of an all-too-brief life. 
But for every calf that dies here, thousands make it across. It is these individual moments of tragedy and triumph that the Great Migration's crew set out to film. Oh my god, I can't believe that. It's gonna be good to set up nice and How'd it go? Good. Thank you. My pleasure. Oh, there's one. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be flying with the monarchs. To put a face to one among millions. That's what it's like to feel like a monarch. To tell the most moving stories on Earth. The stories of the Great Migrations.